Hi, I'm Judy Morano, and welcome to the show. Today, I'm joined by Margaret Carey, who is the editor of the Brewster Hamlet Hub. Welcome, Hi, Margaret. Hi, Judy. Thanks for having me. So, first of all, I bet you there's people out there who don't even know what Hamlet Hub is. Okay, so Hamlet Hub is a hyper-local online news source. Um, it's a a group of different communities. Mm -hmm. So you'll have Brewster is one hub. It originally was started in 2009 by Carrie Ann Ducey. She's a wonderfully sweet lady and she's just a doll to work with. Um, she developed it as a blog, like a community blog, mm -hmm. because there was so much going on in her town of Ridgefield that wow. she wanted to let people know what was going on. And in 2009, blogging was just coming out as a big thing. It was its thing, you know, yeah. we're going back a few years. Mm -hmm. um, it grew, um, she developed Hamlet Hub, turned it into Hamlet Hub, and then ended up getting a bevy of other towns to join in on the fun and to share their local news uh -huh. so that they could have their own community Hamlet Hub. So right now we're at about 50 wow. Hamlet Hubs. All in Westchester, Putnam County? It's No, actually it's um, Connecticut. It started in Ridgefield, Connecticut. Uh -huh. So it's predominantly in Connecticut. Um, we've got Westchester, Putnam. Um, we're the only Putnam one right now. And we have um, actually, there's one in Massachusetts. Really? And we go down as far as Yonkers. So it really does. It's a, a beautiful way to keep things local, mm -hmm. but you also end up having this other, we're all linked together. That's what I was going to ask. So do you, do you actually meet, do everyone get together and like oh, have conversations? We do, we do. We, of course, with technology, a lot of our conversations happen. We have an editor page on Facebook uh -huh. so we can share things. Um, some of our articles, like if I have an article that's about Brewster but may have people like say, you know, the dance studio is doing a show mm -hmm. and they have students that are from Danbury, we, I can share my article with the Danbury editor. Uh -huh. um, and our community calendar is also made where it focuses on Brewster, mm -hmm. but if you want to expand out your radius to include other ones, you'll get New Fairfield, you'll get Danbury, you'll get Ridgefield. So it, it spans out Somers and, and so now, on. Now, so. because you're the only one in Putnam County, mm -hmm. do you try to add in Carmel? Do you try to you know, expand your own personal reach so that people that are living in Brewster maybe know what's going on in Carmel, just mm -hmm. kind of to increase your viewership? Actually, we do. Um, what a, we have uh, different sections. We have seven different sections of the news. It's sort of like a newspaper has different sections, uh -huh. right? So we have a life section. We have a neighbor section. And that's where I include things from Carmel, from Mayapac, mm -hmm. from, um, you know, and again, I would maybe there's something really exciting going on in Ridgefield or Danbury that I think our readers would be interested in knowing uh -huh. about, I will share that in that neighbor section. But then we go on and we have places, events, um, we have charities, we have public safety, which is a lot of our, you know, it could be anything from a police blotter to the next flu clinic. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so these seven sections kind of encompass everything that's going on in, in town. Oh, and of course we have our politics section. Now, I've got to be honest with you, Politics is one of those red hot mm -hmm. topics, especially in today's society. Mm -hmm. So what I tend to do with our politics sections is tell people about the good things that are happening. It may be our agenda for the Village of Brewster. Okay. Um, now you can go to the Village of Brewster website and, read the same thing, and right. find it, or right. you could go to the town of Southeast and right. find it. But what I try to do is take everything and make it your go-to place for Brewster. So if I want to find out what's going on in Brewster, I can go there. The beauty of it is it's saved forever. So say you read an article and you forgot, oh, what was it? You know, I even post recipes because people love recipes. Uh -huh. Let's just be honest. And that kind of, um, you can go on the site and do a search. Okay, so let's, let's talk about this site. How often is it updated? Is it a daily thing? Is it a weekly thing? How often should I be checking the site? Okay, so here's the beauty of the site. We publish anywhere from seven to ten articles per day. My goodness. Yes, I'm very busy with that. I have a wow. few, we have a few student reporters uh -huh. um, that are high school students from Brewster High that come in. We had one um, for about two years and uh -huh. she graduated, went on to college, 
to study journalism? Study, no, not journalism. She's into the sciences. Okay. Um, but she can refer on her resume to her work that is going to be on Hamlet Hub for, right. you know, right. as long as it's there. And then we have, um, so all of these people contribute. As a matter of fact, we also have people in the community who will contribute. So they can go onto the site, they can sign up, whether they're a church, a synagogue, a uh, community mm -hmm. organization, little league, whatever organization mm -hmm. they're running, um, and they can add, it could be a human interest story, it could be an event they're having, it could be a fundraiser, it could be just, um, you know, our human interest stories seem to be really popular. popular. That's, so, so before that's we good. talk about how to do that, I want mm -hmm. to talk about so do I go and log on every day? Oh, as a user, how yes. am I how am I doing that? So you go onto the site, and you can view the site. Can you just so tell you us the address so we can post it under us under The easiest name? thing to do is to go to hamlethub.com mm -hmm. and type in the zip code. Okay, that's the easiest way to do it, and you'll get the site. And again, the site has our featured articles on the top, and then it has the different sections we were talking about. Mm -hmm. However. We also have a newsletter you can sign up for, so you don't have to worry about going to the site because every night you would get a newsletter around 8 o'clock at night, and this newsletter would not only include the articles that we posted for the day, but it'll also include the different upcoming events going on in Brewster that have been submitted. Why didn't I know this? I don't know, but you should sign up and get this. I should. And then the other thing that is very popular, every article that we post also gets published to face our Facebook page, mm -hmm. which is Brewster Hamlet Hub, mm -hmm. and also our Twitter account. And so you can go online uh -huh. if you're, it, it, we are kind of trying, everybody is so busy. So what's the easiest way for you to get the news? You have three different venues. Mm -hmm. You can go on our website, actually four if you consider the email. So you've got your email, mm -hmm. you've got the website, you've got Facebook, which is very popular, and Twitter. And the interesting thing that I find is that our email list, our Twitter accounts, and our Facebook followers, they're all, they're, some people. of them are the same, but different there's different people yeah. who, you know, so it, it, and a lot of people now, with technology, a lot of people are accessing via phone, which we also have an app for, too. So now you have an app, too? Yeah, we have an app. So you can go online and you can pick your hub. Yeah. So say you're visiting Ridgefield and you want to find out you're in Ridgefield mm -hmm. and you're shopping and you want to, you know, yeah. check out what's going on in Ridgefield. You pull up the app, you can change your hub and go to Ridgefield. Um, so it really is very comprehensive. It's sort of like I've got this nice little community mm -hmm. in Brewster, mm -hmm. but we're also benefiting because we're spreading out. I'm just thinking, though, 10 stories a day, mm -hmm. that requires you to go find 10 stories a day. Right. And it's, it's not as difficult as it sounds. Now, we, now I started Brewster <laughs> Hamlet Hub in February of 2014. Okay? Wow. So now we're at 2017, the end of the year. How many viewers do you have? Oh, it, it varies. I, I continually am going up on Facebook uh, on our insights. So each one has different ones. So uh -huh. we have about a thousand in in each section. Okay. And like I said, some are cross you know, right, crossovers. Right, right. And it doesn't include the people who don't follow us who just check our Facebook page, you know, or right. check our website. Right. Um, and it doesn't include the people from other towns who also read our articles as well. Right. Um, but that being said, you you end up having this continual flow of information. Um, when I started Again, Carrie Ann Ducey, amazing woman, gave uh, you know gave me a little bit of help because my background I'm I'm you know a computer scientist you know that was my degree, and I was in IT for years, mm -hmm. and I just decided I'm going to stay home with my kids, enjoy them while they grow up, and um, decided after they were grown I just didn't want to go back into that stressful environment, uh -huh. Uh -huh. so um, I started volunteering for a lot of organizations and doing a lot of volunteer work trying to get the word out was very difficult because mm -hmm. sometimes you don't know three weeks ahead of time to get it into the paper right you know sometimes it's an immediate thing right. so <laughs> when i went to carrie and i explained to her well i ha i'm volunteering for about 10 organizations <laughs> she said you, you were bored you need to t you need <laughs> time um she, so she's like 
okay, well, and I said, and you know, I've got three kids in the school system, and my husband's a former police officer, and he's retired, mm -hmm. um, and he's very active in the community. You know, right now he's on the board of the Brewster Library. Um, you know, I'm still involved in a few different community organizations myself. So to promote what's going on, mm -hmm. I. I already had a nice pool of data, right. um, but right. what I did was I reached out to all of our community organizations that are in Brewster, mm -hmm. um, and I, I told them, I'm like, look, we're here for you. We're here to help did you. Did a lot of them respond <coughs> or regularly I submitting did. articles? You know, the thing is, is they're volunteer organizations, so sometimes they're people, you know, right. they, they'll submit it or they don't have time or they don't have the you know, the people who are experienced enough with computers to mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. The site's pretty fairly simple to do. People are still trying to figure out where they're going to post because there's a lot of different things out there. Mm -hmm. The one thing I like about Hamlet Hub is if you want somebody to know in Brewster, you're going to go to Brewster Hamlet Hub. Yeah. If you want to know what's going on in Putnam County, we have a lot of Putnam County as well, uh -huh. but we just, we focus on Brewster. And there's Contrary to what people believe, there's a lot of stuff going on in Brewster. There is a tremendous amount. I Believe me, I didn't start doing 10 articles a day. <laughs> I had three articles, four articles a day. Mm -hmm. And a year and a half ago or so, I started really pumping it out because now all these people, and I also attend Chamber of Commerce. Our Brewster Chamber of Commerce is a very busy organization. Uh -huh. um, I ended up volunteering for them to help them promote their um, shindig this summer. And it you know, there's a lot of businesses in Brewster, and some of them are mom and pops. Mm -hmm. They can't, you know, they can't afford a lot of money right. for advertising. Right. Um, every Brewster Chamber of Commerce member gets at least one free article from Hamlet Hub. Now, oh, it's, nice. it's free for non-for-profits, mm -hmm. but if you want an ad on our site, there is where we partner with businesses. Okay. Um, so you're not going to get a lot of advertisement on our site. Mm -hmm. It's very, it's about the news it's about the stories but the advertising is what helps <coughs> pay for your time and what helps pay for well, correct so that's what supports the site so for example we have um right now we have pepsi mm -hmm. who um is a sponsor okay um but they're uh for their life water product okay now they're doing a video sponsor on our site mm -hmm. um we were selected from a few of the other um, sites, uh, the other Hamlet hubs. Okay. So that's done through our corporate office in Ridgefield. Uh -huh. And so that kind of filters down. So the nice thing that I find is I don't focus on the advertisement. I focus on what the stories are about. Mm -hmm. The advertisement will follow. Um, mm -hmm. And it's, it's one of those things where whether it's a barter that I do because look I work in town I live in town I you know I need stuff done so uh -huh. if you know the <laughs> back if, to the old days I'll give you if, if you give if, me if you want to cut down my tree I'll give you free advertisement <laughs> um, you know and uh, my work you know is as valuable as anybody else's I mean, so really is your business at this point it's oh it your is and the way it's run is it is my business I choose what stories I want to put mm -hmm. on if I ever have an issue where I'm concerned about should this be in our area. Uh -huh. uh, there are some things I refuse to post. I try to make it positive. Positive energy, positive stories. Like that. Everyone can use a little of that. Because let's be honest, everybody, it's all, the paper is death and dismemberment. Uh -huh. and I <laughs> just have enough, I want to go someplace right. where I can read about. Where there's a happily ever after. The kid who put, who built, you know, something amazing doing right. his Boy Scout project. You right. know, I mean, I right. just want to read something fun. And I've got to tell you, those human interest stories, again, we had one. It was a, a sad story, but uh, poignant, where um, a woman was battling cancer, <laughs> lost just her job. I know, I know, yeah, okay, I know, I know. <laughs> but it's got, a, it's got a positive flow to it. Okay. So she was battling cancer. She lost her job. Mm -hmm. okay. I remember this story. Remember this story? Yes, story? I do. Um, and this the the reason I felt it was positive was because we broke this story and told this woman's story about it, it, it raised awareness. Mm -hmm. We got national coverage. We had over 30,000 hits on this. It went all, and you over broke the, the story. all over the world, not just the country, 
all over the world people were reading this story because and it got national coverage it was on one of the big ABC picked it up mm -hmm. picked up the story and told it you know did anything happen for this poor woman did you get her job back no but at least it was something that she felt that somebody was listening. Right, somebody and empowered she, her for a second. Right? And, you know, but she got all this positive feedback mm -hmm. on the story that said, oh my gosh, yeah. you know, people care. Yeah, they you know? do. You give them the right opportunity to care. Absolutely, they care. absolutely. And then, you know, again, we run into things like it could be something as simple as, you know, the church is having a, a Bible study camp, mm -hmm. you know, and they're trying to reach out to the community. You know, mm -hmm. maybe, you know, maybe it's, you know, studio around the corner is our media spot. We're a media sponsor for them. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful organization. We're trying to raise money for the, yep. the theater on the third floor. How do people find out about that? Right. You know, they'll read it in the paper, and then six months later, they'll forget about Particularly it. Particularly now that we've started construction, I'm hoping that Hamlet Hub kind of follows us through that process. We do, we yeah. do. And, you know, we're waiting to see, you know, what happens in the future with that mm -hmm. and tracking the progress of it. And I think that's where, where Hamlet Hub is so valuable to our community because it's a place for people to go to right. find out the information without having to go through all the other things that right. they, they need to right. do. And it's handy. It's, mm -hmm. it's quick and right. it's handy. So the stories come from people. Like if, if you wanted to say, you know, I, was what, say, I, okay, I have a story, story, so how do I do that? So here's the deal. You go onto the site mm -hmm. and you register as a user. It's free to register. There's no charge. Okay. Now, once you register, you can enter information two different ways. You can enter an article mm -hmm. and you can enter an event on our community calendar. Okay. So the so article. I don't have to call you first and say I have this event. Let me get no, it to you to then post it. You want to? But we do. We up. do kind of like sometimes I get articles from Lower Westchester. It, unless it's going to affect our people, mm -hmm. I'm not going to be posting it. So there is. Sorry, <laughs> but there is. Well, that's a, the job of an editor is exactly. to pick and choose what's appropriate. And I also will edit like. So you, you go in, you sign up for an account. Mm -hmm. There's a little little person's head, and you click on it. And on that little, you know, it'll give you just your basic sign-up information, your name, your email address, and a again, password. It's free. And it's just stress free. That it's free. It's mm -hmm. absolutely free. And you publish your article. Now, your article could be, now let's say your article is an event. Mm -hmm. Okay? So you publish that as an article, uh -huh. and then you pop over to our site that has the events and you can add it to the community calendar as well. Now, so if I'm publishing, how do you then control if it's not something you want? So what happens is it goes into what's called a pending file. Okay. And I, well, file using, <laughs> not the technical term, the space pending file. area. Yeah. And I then take that, or I, I'll get a noti notification mm -hmm. that says, okay, uh, you know, Margaret, so-and-so submitted an article. I get an email. I go in. I view my uh, the article, and then I not only do I get to see what it is, but I then get to select what section do I want to highlight this article. Maybe okay. it's really phenomenal, and I want to feature this article. On the top of our page, you'll see there's this big square that's the featured article. Oh, we've been on that feature. Mm -hmm. Studio yes, in the corner you have there. been. Um, as a matter of fact, the Harry Potter event was on oh, the featured yeah, article. So we're going to end up seeing, you know, so I get to choose those things. And okay. then what happens is that art, I also get to choose what day, what time. I try to target things, say it's something for children mm -hmm. under the age of 10. Mm -hmm. I try to target that in morning, like around 9 o'clock, okay? If it's an event like a concert or a, um, you know, a fundraising event. If you event, want after work, you after, want to put that on right. after work. So I do those later on. Okay. I, uh, getting back to the Harry Potter event, I knew that was popular, believe it or not, with our 18 and up crowd. That was posted on after 9 o'clock okay. because there's a lot of traffic on, on Facebook after 9. And so the minute you post it, it goes up on Facebook? Mm -hmm. So it, it will, the little little lag, maybe 5 or 10 minutes, uh -huh. depending, uh -huh. it'll go on Facebook and it'll tweet. Uh, so if you're going to be entering an account, we have, uh, or entering an article, we have a section called Meta Tag. So uh, EA Test Prep is one of our business partners. What happens with them is they have their article, and then in the meta tag, we put in an at EA Test Prep, and it will end up, I'm sorry, their description, not their tag, their description. It'll end up going into um, 
their Twitter, they'll tag them on their Twitter account uh -huh. so that anybody who follows them will say, oh, at EA Test Prep, what's that? And they'll click on it and they'll go to the EA Test Prep Twitter account. Oh, how great. Yeah, so it, 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 you know, it kind of follows. And then once the article's posted on Facebook, mm -hmm. we also tag the business. So say the same article will get posted on Facebook. Uh -huh. I go in and I can tag EA Test Prep in the article. Uh -huh. And then not only can they read the article, but if they click on that tag on Facebook, they'll also go to EA Test Prep's Facebook page. Wow. So it's very... It's, it's very connected. It is. It's and very connected. It, it does kind of... Cause that's the web, right? right. Everything is, right. you know, you can get lost looking for stuff. So now, as the editor, are you also the person who's rereading the articles, making sure there's no grammatical errors? Are you making sure that, yes. is that your responsibility That's as well? That's my responsibility, and I have to say, you know, things do fall through the cracks sometimes. It and happens. It happens. But that's the beauty of Brewster. Look, we're, we're, we're all not here perfect. together. We're not perfect. You know? So I end up doing a lot of different things, um, you know, not only checking things like that, but it's the, the hard thing to find out are the things that are missing. For example, I had this one organization that continually enters information, and they forget to put their address. <laughs> and I'm like, people are not going to know where to where go. Where to go, right, right, <laughs> So right. I, we put the address in. We'll help them. You and know, you're I mean, a our solo operation here? Well, my husband, Pete, will also um, do a few articles. He, I have my son, Peter, who is my photographer. He'll go out, uh, especially at this events. It's a family business. It is a family business. My, uh, my oldest and my middle child will go out and do um, reviews of shows. Uh -huh. uh, both are theater you know, in the theater major world. Uh -huh. And uh, so they'll go out and they'll review shows and they'll do shows. We do uh, the Westchester Broadway Dinner Theater invites us to go and do reviews of their shows. So we do those every year, uh, every show, every one of their big shows, which is wow. wonderful. Um, and we'll do local shows. Like I'll, I'll go out into Connecticut. Mm -hmm. um, if people request us to come out for a review, You'll we'll do it. do it. If people invite us to go to an event, we'll get a lot of, like, as part of the media, you know, the media, you will get media alerts from, I, we get them a lot from, uh, say, Mary Ellen O'Dell, uh -huh. um, from uh, Senator Murphy. Mm -hmm. So they'll invite us to different things. Veterans, we are really, really supportive of our veterans. Mm -hmm. They deserve our respect and our support. Mm -hmm. And I love to post things about our veterans. We have things like they, they've gotten into, did you know that Putnam County has a Hall of Fame, a Veterans Hall of Fame? I did not. Well, now you do. <laughs> so does your audience. This is the beauty of Hamlet Hub, that these things that we may not really know about, right. Right. you can find out. Um, you know, we have an organization. Last year, I ran a, um, a uh, sort of like a contest for free advertisement for a local organization. Mm -hmm. And what happened with them was um, the New York Writers and uh, is an organization that helps with um, uh, veterans, um, right, right, you know, and as well as police, fire, mm -hmm. um, and they um, they won, and post articles about them. They're always doing things for our veterans. The Elks Club. Um, there's so many. You know, it's amazing how many organizations are. So are you always Bruce looking Trump. for new people to contribute? Is this I am. We actually have a few people that are um, what we like to call contributors. They will go onto the site and they will add things. We have people who, and we're always open to new people coming in. So they should just email. It's real easy. Brewster at HamletHub.com. They can email me. That goes right to you. Um, yeah, and I, I'm going to give you a little dish. Okay. It. Within the next two months, early 2018, mm -hmm. we are opening a Carmel Hamlet Hub. Really? I am getting so much information. Are you opening a Carmel Hamlet I Hub? I am opening the Carmel Hamlet Hub. So what's going to happen, because I'm getting so much information, I, I am the faculty advisor slash director for the Carmel High School um, fall play. Uh -huh. and they, I, I got connected to a whole bunch of wonderful Carmel residents who also need something like this. They have so much going on. Can you do some over crossover from Carmel to Brewster? And, and that's where the neighbor section comes in. Mm -hmm. So there may be something in Brewster that I think Carmel will be interested in, so I'll put it in Carmel. Um, so. My question to you is, how many hours a week is this taking <laughs> Oh, I you? don't even know. I couldn't count. You know what? It's a labor of love. Like, I, I always like to 
tell people like about things that are going on uh -huh. that they might find interesting. So it's always been kind of my thing. Okay. So this is my way. This is my way of getting the word out. And there are days, I tell you, <laughs> where I sit there and I, I just want a day away from my computer. Uh -huh. I just want a day away from it's my computer. It's got to be time consuming. And it is. It. I would say, you know, and sometimes it's me taking the time, the more time than I, that's needed, mm -hmm. but I like to do a lot of research. It's like, it's like a mystery game. You're going out, you're finding, you know, uh -huh. I'm finding this event. Oh, I'm finding out that there is, uh, <laughs> you know, there's something going on. And, you know, I've also found some wonderful opportunities for my kids mm -hmm. to do things from... Which you wouldn't have known existed otherwise. never would have known. Right. So it's sort of like a payback. I would... I would guesstimate I spend anywhere from two to three hours a day, um, you know, doing articles, writing articles, researching, uh, mm -hmm. connecting with businesses. When we help businesses, we don't just tell them, you know, post on our site. We help them. We'll design, you know, advertisements for them. We'll help them with their, you know, hey, by the way, I like it's do the this. proverbial we. It's yeah. the we'll help it's the them. We. But it's actually the Margaret Carey will help them. <laughs> It is. It is. But it's okay. I, you know, I like to make it feel like, you know, we're a team. But, you know, and I couldn't do any of this if it wasn't for, you know, the Ducies, you know, Carrie Ann and Ken, mm -hmm. uh, you know, they've created this model for me to follow. Mm -hmm. And it, they made it so very easy. And, uh, you know, e it's time consuming, yes. But because of my computer background, because it's not of as my hard as it would be if right. you were and, novice, and because of my connections with the community, yeah. you know, uh, people know that they can come to me, and I will help them. I, I just we're you're just laughing. About, we're I just, know. No, we're just about <laughs> wrapping up. But I, I wanted to share with you a funny story. And I was I was at the studio one day, and someone said, "Oh, do you know Margaret Carey?" And I was like. <laughs> She must be a celebrity. <laughs> I don't know. So many, we, were, we were doing it, uh, doing something with the Chamber of Commerce when I was volunteering for them, and, and we were sitting in a meeting, and somebody said, I was shocked. Somebody said, who is Margaret Carey? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you live under a rock? Wait I'm a minute. Like, I'm not that popular. I, people just know me because I talk a lot. I don't know. No, they know you because <laughs> you're super involved in the community, and oh, Brewster Hamlet Hub is a wonderful piece of our community now. I'm so glad it's growing. Thank you. And as I will now be getting emails, since I did not know I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'll help you if you need help. Thank you. Yeah, Thank we you. should probably do sort of a, a little uh, thing at the studio on how to promote yourself on Hamlet Hub. That might be, that would a, be a great idea. idea. So let's plan on that. So okay. just check Hamlet Hub and you can find out because you'll be getting the emails <laughs> I'll be getting now. The emails now. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for enlightening us. I, if you're not already a Hamlet Hub follower, you need to be a Hamlet Hub follower. <laughs> and um, I look forward to all the good stuff that we're going to do together. Wonderful. Thanks so much for having thank me, Judy. You. It's been fun. Thank you.